today, sorry about that, today um, I'm having a really bad day. Um, we have to have those as well, there are ups and downs to everything in this world and today is one of them. Um, on a bad day I struggle with light so having the ceiling light on right now is really painful for my eyes. Um, I struggle to keep my eyes open, I struggle to focus on anything and no matter how much I decide to do something I end up drifting off and falling asleep so um, <laughs> there she goes fighting her stupid toy again oh Pella anyway Today's topic is um, me and these topics. I don't know why I can't remember them. I have to look again. Show us your favorite morning ritual. I don't have a favorite one. This is my morning ritual. It is dark in here and it's going to be staying dark in here for a bit longer. Uh, how much longer? I don't know. It depends a little on how I'm going to be feeling. I have just woken up. This little girl is getting a few morning treats. This is um, basically dried liver with blueberries. And I think her, for someone her size, she can have like 40 a day or something like that. She doesn't get that many, but she probably gets somewhere between 10 and maybe between 10 and 20 a day. Uh, and she loves them. She'll do anything to get these pills. I'm starting my day with a smoothie. Pretty much every morning is the same. This is my first breakfast. It should be packed with nutrients and antioxidants and vitamins and everything that's good for you. This particular morning I'm feeling very cold uh, and, and that kind of makes me wish I could heat the smoothie up. I used to drink coffee in the mornings. Uh, actually I used to drink coffee all through the day. Huge amounts of coffee. Uh, and I am pretty sure that that was not good for me, so I will stop that. I don't drink any coffee anymore. Uh, but some days I wish I could heat up the smoothie just for the sensation of holding a warm cup between your hands and drinking a hot beverage, as Sheldon Cooper would call it. Right, for this we're going to need a little bit of light, so we move that away. When the smoothie is finished, step step two uh, starts of my morning routine, and step two includes taking medication. Now, most mornings I have already had my first round of, of painkillers uh, before my breakfast. But for breakfast, uh, I, I need to take my pills, and to make it easier, I keep my pills in a little pouch like this, so I put all the blister packs in here. <laughs> and there she goes with her squeaky toy again. Um, I put, put all my, my blister packs in here so I can dig out the ones I need in the morning and take those. And uh, it makes it easy if. if <laughs> It doesn't happen very often that I go anywhere because if I have a do, this is easy to just stick in my handbag and uh, it's also something that is easy to keep track on. When my grandson comes around, I can stick this under my pillow so he doesn't see my pills. Um, I find that jars uh, can sometimes be far too interesting for small children, but uh, something like this, I just stick it under my pillow and it's not even visible. Um, this morning I had a smoothie delivered uh, about I think it was 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning before that I had taken some pills 
I had my smoothie. It was made of frozen, there were frozen bananas and frozen mangoes in it, so it was it was quite cold, so it took me some time to, to drink it because I wanted it to warm up a little bit. I Seriously, this morning I would have loved to just stick it in a microwave and heat it up, but I don't even own a, a microwave oven, so that wasn't a possibility. I don't think I would have anyway, to be honest, but I, I kind of had the idea that Ah, oh, if I could hold a warm cup between my hands, wouldn't that be lovely? So, part three of, of a morning routine would entail this little thing here. Now, some people uh, have shown really fancy schmancy uh, videos in detail describing what their routines are like. Uh, I am not going to put you through that, so... Don't worry, I'm just sort of telling you this is what happens. So this little bowl here would typically come in with warm water and there would be a flannel and there would be soap and uh, I get what is called a bed bath, which means that I get to wash my body using a flannel uh, in bed. And then they take this away and I get uh, with water uh, that is not hot but warm toothbrush toothpaste so I wash my teeth and then um, magically someone comes in to take the water and the glass and everything out and with a big helping of coconut oil uh, very important to have uh, we do some skin care and I get some clothes on. I just had a visitor and my um, healthcare at home a community nurse who been to see me and uh, taking my blood. Um, because we need to do this all the time and uh, I am not very mobile because of my condition and uh, I also can't really be sitting at the hospital where there's like 50 people sitting and coughing and uh, waiting to go in and do the blood test uh, because without, without uh, an immune system I obviously pick up every little sniffle and cough and whatever they might have so for me to go to the hospital once a month to do a blood test might mean that I spend the remaining you know two three weeks of that uh, the following two three weeks of that month be bed even worse than I was before and uh, we're trying to avoid that but so um, it makes you very humble and very grateful to consider the world we live in uh, where I actually get that someone to come to my door come into my bedroom take my blood and take it away for for uh, analysis uh, meanwhile in other parts of the world people don't have access to anything no matter what so I'm, I'm very lucky I'm very fortunate and I am very grateful for that show us your favorite morning ritual I don't have a favorite one this is my morning ritual the one well, actually uh, let I rephrase that this is my favorite morning ritual because if this is the ritual it means that I have had one of those days when I have successfully managed to wake up, have breakfast, take my medicine, clean my body, moisturize my skin, get rest, and then go back to rest again. Um, and if I've managed to cover those, then it's a pretty okay day. I mean, I did say I had a bad one, sort of a bad day today. Um, and I do. And on a really bad day, it means that I skip some things. So I actually have an empty water bowl here because I haven't had my bed bath today. It was just, it just wasn't possible. But it could have been, and I said I was going to show you uh, a sample. <laughs> I 
<laughs> a sample of what it, what a day a morning routine might look like in this house. So, semi normal morning routine for a semi normal day in a house where nothing is ever normal. On a good day, I managed to do all of them at the same well, not at the same time, but get all of them done. Um, doesn't always happen like that. Um, not the blood test, that doesn't happen every day, but it happens on a bi-weekly or four-weekly basis, um, depending on the results. Um, but yeah, I still wanted to include it because I think that service is so amazing that we have it. But I, I, I wanted to highlight that. Um, thank you very much for stopping by to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, but now it's time for me to love you and leave you. And as always, before I go, you know what's going to happen. Thank you very much for being here today. Have a lovely day or evening or night or whatever it is where you are right now. Um, Make the most of it.